Part 2 What's the new plan? As the night fell, the snow was falling more heavily. They sat at the table. John, we need to make a plan, he said. The others nodded sadly. John, we have two weeks until the car arrives. I know. Everyone wants to be alone, but that's impossible right now. We have to accept this and look ahead. He said. Jim, what can we do in this tiny cabin with four people? We don't know each other, Sarah. We can start by getting to know each other. The four talked all night long. The only common point they found among themselves was that they had all made reservations from the same travel agency. They had all reserved this cabin. They had all wanted a lonely vacation. But as a result, these four people were stuck in a cabin. Lisa thought, how can four different people make reservations? What a mistake. And what a nightmare. But she didn't say these to the others. Outside, the weather had gone crazy. A tremendous snowstorm had already started. Inside, the fireplace was burning fiercely. By the time they realized the situation, the snow had reached 1M. Now there were no bird sounds outside but the howling of wolves. Jim looked at the rifle hanging on the wall of the cabin when he heard the howling of the wolves. He said to himself, I hope we don't need this rifle. When night came, the whole team dozed off with the warmth of the fireplace. The girls took the bed. It was a bit small for two girls, but they shared it. The boys got into their sleeping bags on the floor. None of them could sleep. There were so many strangers in the room, Lisa lay in bed and turned her eyes to the cabin window. For a moment, she thought she saw a flashing red light. She quickly jumped out of bed and ran to the door. The others didn't understand what Lisa was doing. When Lisa went outside, she realized even more the snow hell outside. She looked for the red light she saw. But she couldn't see the light again, Sarah called Lisa from inside, close the door and come in Lisa. The cold filled inside, Lisa returned inside. She didn't tell the others about the red light she saw. She believed she was wrong. Maybe she hadn't seen any light at all. It was an illusion, she went back to bed. She lay down next to Sarah, now there was only the light of the burning fireplace in the cabin. They slept. They slept and slept, Jim was the first to wake up on day two. But he didn't want to get out of his sleeping bag. The fireplace had gone out and the cabin had cooled down. Also, although it was morning, it was a dark day. The wind was blowing outside. With morning, the wolves had also stopped. But the birds weren't singing either. It was a dark day, Jim called out to the others, Hey sleepyheads. It's 8.40. Doesn't anyone want to get out of bed? The others woke up with Jim's voice. They took out food for breakfast from their suitcases. John lit the fireplace again. As it warmed up inside, they all had breakfast together. After waking up, none of them had gone outside. The sound of the wind didn't invite them outside either. After breakfast, the team decided to go outside. They had to collect wood. Because they had consumed a lot of wood last night. 
John and Jim took the axes on the right and left of the rifle on the wall. Jim opened the door. The snow had fallen up to the keyhole of the door. Lisa and Sarah took the shovels from inside. The girls cleared the way, the boys moved on. They cut a few dead and dry trees, tied them with ropes and carried them to the cabin. The men split the trees into small pieces and carried them inside. The girls opened the snow-covered road to the creek with shovels. The men carried water. The weather was getting dark early. There was not much daylight. They realized that. Darkness completely engulfed. And these four people. They were trapped in the cabin again. They were all very tired. Even walking in the snow without doing anything was very tiring. They left some of their food outside so that it wouldn't spoil from the heat. They each retreated to their own corner as sleep flowed from their eyes. They would get up early tomorrow to take advantage of more daylight. Some were asleep, some were not yet asleep. There was a noise outside. Everyone jumped out of their beds. It was around two o'clock at night.